welcome to Science Fun for Everyone. I am Scientist Joe, here with July's Experiment of the Month. This month, we're having some good, clean fun with soap. In fact, soap is about all you'll need for this month's experiment. Ivory soap is the best kind I've found for this uh, because of its special formula. All you need to do is unwrap a bar of ivory soap, put it in a nice big bowl, and then pop it in the microwave for two minutes. Two minutes in the microwave. Inside of every bar of ivory soap, there are lots and lots of little bubbles. And inside of every one of those bubbles, there are lots and lots of little air molecules. Uh, those air molecules act kind of like uh, brothers sitting in the back seat of a car. Uh, they don't necessarily want to be right next to each other. They push on each other. They bounce around all over the place. If they get hot, they do that even more. They start moving all over the place, pushing against each other, throwing the iPad all over the back seat. They start to expand, those bubbles do, inside of the soap. They get bigger and bigger and bigger until they almost fill up the microwave. Whoa! This thing got pretty huge in those two minutes, uh, but it also got pretty hot. Things in the microwave get hot. So I'm going to leave it here for another two minutes or so to let it cool down. Yes, this all came from one bar of soap. And it looks kind of like whipped cream or shaving cream. But once it's cooled down, you can touch it and you'll see that it's actually got this really weird texture. You can actually pick the whole thing up. This is pretty cool stuff, right? Guess what? It still works as soap. You can break a little piece off, go to a sink, and wash your hands with it. You can put it all in the tub and have a bubble bath. Or you can do one of my favorite things, and that is to make clean clay. Clean clay is this really cool stuff. It's made out of this soap and toilet paper, actually. Uh, and the recipe for that is going to be on our website. The description down below has a link to it where you can go check it out for yourself. On our website, sciencefun.org, you can also find information about in-school field trips, birthday parties, and camps at our lab, as well as jokes, science facts, and even more experiments. Hope to see you there. Thanks.